Today, I'm going to be showing you the most underrated plane in Project Flight. Now, this is fully my opinion, but hopefully this video helps you edge a little bit closer to this plane and maybe to like it more. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers and let's get in. Now, this plane is none other than the Fokker 100 and that sounds quite similar to another word. Am I even allowed to say this plane's name on YouTube? I have no idea, but we're going to say it anyway. Now, this is a Dutch-made plane, and they have quite a bit of liveries, as you see, and I'll be showing you why I think this is the most underrated plane in Project Flight. Now, the first thing about this plane, which is quite obvious, is that it doesn't cost any Robux, unlike other planes, so that's quite good. Now, one thing that I really like about this plane is that it has Qantas Link, Alliance, as you see, and Virgin Australia. And you don't see any other Roblox flight simulator having those liveries. Now, you might be saying, oh, who cares? It's just a couple liveries. They're not that special. Well, for me, they are because this plane flies a ton to where I live. This exact plane in these exact liveries. I see it all the time. And this is the first time that I've seen a flight simulator have something like this because these liveries are quite special to this plane. This is quite the unknown plane, I'd say, and I don't really ever see anyone using this in Project Flight, but I like it. So how about we take this plane on a little flight and I'll show you some more stuff about it. Now, as you see, it's got two rear engines along with a T-tail uh, shaped design. Now, some little attention to detail is that they have these bolts and screws on the windows, so that looks quite cool. And if you search up some flights in this plane, you can see that sometimes people sit back here where the engine is and it's ca it can be quite loud and it's really cool. As you see, they have the bolts all around here as well. And personally, I really like this plane. Now something unique is that if you press R for spoilers, Never mind, it doesn't work because the engines aren't on. Alright, now the engines are on, as I was saying, if you press R for spoilers, this thing comes out. And that's quite unique because not really a lot of planes have this. And if you go full into reverse thrust, this is just for spoilers, but if you go full into reverse thrust, the main spoilers on the wings come out. And along with this. It's quite an old design for reverse thrust, but again, it's quite unique and I like it. Again, I don't get why no one flies this plane. If you just have a look around here, as you see, it's all 787, 777. What the hell is that kid doing? That is the worst approach I've ever seen. What the hell? <laughs> Bro, as you see, unlike other planes, the rudder works quite well. And let's just taxi to the runway. Alright, now that we're on the runway, we better get going because that plane's about to hit us, but uh, here's the sound for the takeoff, and personally, I really like this plane's sound. So yeah, that's the sound of the takeoff and the gear animation. This plane's really nice. Now, as always, you have to butter the plane that you're reviewing, you could say. So, let's go. Oh. 
That was great. Why aren't the- Oh my god, I was pressing N instead of B. And there we go. So, comment down below what you think about this plane. Personally, it's one of my favourites. And it's quite underrated, which is why I made the video about this. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.